Back page of the Sun today. Park Strife. St James's Chief sued for £59 million in damages in New Saudi Shaker. This is just a bit of a crazy story. Martin Lipton saying today Newcastle chairman Yasser al Rumyan is set to be hit with a £59 million lawsuit. Now, former Saudi spy chief Dr. Saad al Zrabi claims that he orchestrated a malicious campaign against him. He's accused the St James's Park boss of acting under the direct instructions of Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salam in a bid to destroy him. £59 million lawsuit. Wow. Um, Is this going through the Canadian court that I read? It's an absolutely wild story. Uh, he alleges in court in Ontario that Al Ramian was directly Ontario, in, Ontario. In ta- Ontario. Sorry, that Al Ramian was directly involved in the campaign against him. Yeah. Um, so quite an interesting one. That it's, uh, it's Ontario, going... Ontario, or Ontario is in Canada. Ontario, yes, <coughs> yes, yes so Ontario. Just in case your geography wasn't too good, no, too good in the drum. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying it, it was. It. It's not great. I'll give you that. But I did know it was in Canada. Uh, Goodison boss Dyche's fears for club after FFP blow. Ken Lawrence and Martin Lipton saying that Sean Dyche has questioned why the Premier League coming. Well, for, yeah. Uh, listen, it's obviously very, very complex. But we hear City now have been uh, not charged, but there's a date for the hearing. Yeah. But they won't tell us the date. And Sean's basically saying, "Well, done a minute. We've already." We're yeah. in a second one here. Why are you picking on us? Well, it's been reported, and I've seen reports already, that it could be late autumn, but he's not confirmed that. Um, Prem boss Richard Masters, he's confirmed a date has been set, like you say, but he won't tell us exactly when that date will happen for the the fate of the 115 charges against the champions. We're talking about over nine seasons here, aren't we? This, yeah. is, this, is, this is, could be really nasty. Do- over nine seasons, Ali. I spoke to Simon about it yesterday. Um... And to be fair, Simon did his level best to try and explain it to me why it's taking a lot longer, and it's because there's a lot more charges, yeah, and it's a lot more complex and intricacies. One hundred ninety-six <coughs> or something, something like that. It's ridiculous. Just under two hundred charges. Yeah, between two thousand and nine and two thousand and eighteen, it's believed. So they they would backdate that, but can you imagine a world that they actually relegate Manchester City and punish them that heavily? Well, <coughs> all you would say is the fact of the matter is quite simple. If they docked Everton 10 points for whatever they've done, right? If Manchester City, and I'm just surmising here because we don't know anything, but if any club, just say, six, seven, eight years ago, have committed the same crime, you'd have to think the fine has got to be the same, is it not? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they, they've won Premier League, they've won uh, the World Club Championship. Mm-hmm. Actually, I've been corrected, 115 that charge. 115? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, uh, what's happened to Forest as well? Uh, Forest, have they got a date for them? Because they, they're in trouble as well. Well, they've yeah. got the time to respond yeah. now and then they could face a six-point deduction um, along with Everton once again. It's a mess, isn't it? It's a mess, it. really. I mean, the thing is, they're trying. To, Premier League are trying to get their, the house in order now, but everybody who, you know, <coughs> other fans are looking and going, but how come the big boys are getting away with it? Who, uh, who are winning everything? So there, there has to be an element autumn, of autumn, so there'll be appeals. So it's not going to affect this season that's yet. That's some of the reports that's been ah. that's been mooted around. Then, that has <coughs> not been confirmed that But then day. the rumours are that they're going to do away with the rules or change the rules for next August. <laughs> it's an absolute disaster. It's a disaster. Oh. But you would like to see Everton galvanised once more by this. We've seen it happen already. Where they would be in the Premier League without the 10-point deduction, they have challenged that. They, they aim to appeal that. And so they're going, they're going to face a case before they've heard their appeal? Yes. And they could be deducted once more this this season. That could happen this yeah, season. That's not fair in the fans, by the way. Of course it's not. It's not fair in the fans. Of course it's not. It really isn't. I think now they should say, right, get all your get all your facts, get everything in a row, we'll sort out the closed season and then we start from scratch. Mm-hmm. They've got it. they can't keep doing this, you know, it's, Everton fans are paying good money and, and they go on a little run and then suddenly boom it's taken off them. And it's totally out of the fans' hands, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, it's a bit not Yeah. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.